What's up everybody, Joe here, and today we're gonna check out Dino Rank. If you like SEO tools and dinosaurs, then you might really like Dino Rank. And they are currently offering a lifetime deal on AppSumo. So let's log in and check it out. Let's add a new project, enter the URL, select your country, not your language, your country, language, add project, main has been added. Now we go to the keywords section. If you'd like to track uh, any keywords that you want your site to rank for and be able to monitor them, this is where we would enter these keywords. So let's do anxiety, therapy, mental treatment. Then down here you can track on desktop, mobile, or both. I recommend doing both. If you'd like to group the keywords into clusters, you can do that. And if you want to track these keywords locally. Add keywords, yes, I am sure. All right, it's going to take a little time for this to update. And then if you'd like, you also could track your project. You can connect it to your Google account uh, for tracking options. So this is going to take a while to update. So just look at some other projects, get an idea, all the features DinoRank has. All right, so you got your overall, overall dashboard. See what you're ranking for already. Lowest rank keywords from the keywords we've entered into the rank tracker. Your strongest URLs. Up here, it has a, a task manager, uh, which is kind of neat. So you could enter in any tasks you have, you know, uh, for your SEO campaigns. And uh, this way you can, just, you can just keep an eye on it. Back to the control panel, position tracking. So this is the rank tracker on DinoRank and it's pretty straightforward. It updates daily, which is very neat, uh, rather than weekly, like some of the other rank tracking tools out there. You could see the search volumes, how many people are searching estimated for this keyword, what number you're ranking at. Also, I believe if there's anything above your rank position, any uh, if you have like, it's right in the map, or I'm not sure what this is, a news article I believe above, there's like snippets. The URL that it's ranking for, the actual page on your website that this keyword is connected to. Uh, if you'd like to see any cannibalizations, which is uh, basically a multiple pages that are sharing a keyword that are battling for a keyword. So right now I don't have any on here. Um, highlights, we can highlight any of these if you'd like to hit a star on them. If you want to filter your date, you would like to add more keywords, you add them here, you could download a report. I have a tier three, so it's 1500 keywords that could be monitored. I'm using 40 uh, overall right now on all the projects. Dynarank also has a SEO audit tool. Uh, so you can audit the website, or your customer's website, and it'll give you anything you need to fix. Uh, let's see, titles, duplicate titles, which pages can fix that, heading tags, if you have any duplicates, pages missing H1 tags, meta description issue, duplicate meta tag, duplicate meta descriptions, uh, no meta description, meta, meta, dino, dino, you know, we say things differently, depends on the day. Here's this TFIDF, semantic prominence. Uh, this is kind of a unique feature that they have here. It shows you if you enter in a keyword and the page to analyze or the entire website, how often you're using the keyword or words. And then the green is the competition of what they're doing with the keyword. So it's kind of nice. You can go here, you can see the analysis or we can, let's do a new one here. Let's say uh, for this one, we want to check uh, creative therapy and we could enter the actual URL or just let it be the entire site and then it'll perform analysis. And here we go. All right. So it's showing you therapy and the creative that these are all the words that you want to use because the competition is using them. If you want to switch it to two words or three words, two words is nice. So you can see here how often and how important these words are for the competitors. Also the average amount of words and the maximum. So you want to get, you know, in between here on your word count as well. And then it lists down here, all the keywords. So it's kind of, it's good for on page, gives you, gives you a nice idea of how to improve your content. And uh, that's pretty cool. Keyword research. We can enter a keyword any keyword if we want for this site or for any site or for, for anything in general, web designer, you know, in the United States, and then you can do a search. The keyword does not have to be connected to the project. It could just be, 
in anything in general. And it will show you the trends, the volumes right here, gives you some ideas, some keywords. Now, I believe the keyword research limit is connected to your plan. I am on the largest plan currently, um, so it will show me more keyword suggestions. But if you're on a lower plan, it may only return around 30 or 35 keywords, keyword ideas. That's something to keep in mind. Check the trend. It's nice. Now here's the internal PR. Basically, it's a visual of distribution throughout your site. The larger circles mean these are more important pages. Um, they have more connections to them. They're ranking better, more backlinks. I'm guessing it's overall authority on the site. So these are the pages. The bigger ones are your focus. So this one art therapy page is very important to this site. Child therapy citations page is getting a decent amount. Special needs therapy. And then you have the smaller pages, the blog articles. So maybe some of these need to work on, get those bigger. And then if you click on any of these, it will go to what's connected to that page. So then you can see all these other, the internal linking model. So if you like visuals, this, this kind of stuff is nice. They have something similar to these on other platforms like Screaming Frog. There's also internal linking visual, which this is more like Screaming Frog, where it just shows you your site and the structure. This is the home page, and then these are the supporting pages. And you can click on any of them if you'd like to investigate that page further. And then this is that page I just clicked on for psychological consultation. These are the pages connected to that. Here's still a uh, part of the, I guess, 5% of the bugs left on DinoRank since their launch uh, in the Western market and AppSumo. The site, it, it's DinoRank is from, I believe, Spain, very popular tool in Spain, and I believe parts of Europe, they have been for some time. But when they came over to AppSumo to the launch, the site, most of the site was stuck in Spanish. And I don't speak Spanish, I can't read it. So that was a kind of a bug that came up and a lot of people got frustrated. They fixed most of the site, but as you can see, there are still some pages that are in Spanish. Also, a lot of the help videos on the site are in Spanish. So hopefully get some ones in English uh, in the future but it's only a few pages here and there. Again, up here, you can switch to English globally. You can switch to Italian, back to Spanish, but when we go back to the page, it should automatically go back to English. I think it's only in the internal linking section and a few other spots. So these two internal link visuals uh, are very cool. I'm a big fan of those, the TFIDF I like, and the position tracking daily is great. Keyword research, audit tool, you know, you can find those uh, on a lot of other uh, SEO tools. Organic traffic. All right. So one thing, you have to synchronize it with your Google account, your Google Analytics and Search Console. We don't have to, but if you want a lot of the other uh, things, a lot of the other features offered, you have to kind of sync up. Now, you do get a limit on how many times you can synchronize. So if you synchronize, you know, once a month for a project, that's fine. But sometimes you do a lot of changes and you want to synchronize every day. The monthly limit depends on which tier you purchase and which plan you're on. So I have 80 synchronizations a month. I've already used eight. So the last time I synchronized was four days ago. So if I want to synchronize again, you know, it uses another limit. So right now it's getting data from four days ago. The same goes for cannibalizations, visibility, thin content. There's a few things on here will need to be synchronized. So let's see, click on the options you want to use. So for organic traffic, so we entered in this URL and it's showing what this page, what keywords this page is ranking for, whether ranking well or poorly. If you want to see all the keywords, you can see all the keywords for the entire website. So this is very, very neat that you can just examine your site. All right, now let's check out keyword opportunities. Currently no opportunities. Sometimes I've noticed sometimes this does not work, the opportunities, but the positions is very cool. You could check out any part of your website or the entire website and see how you're doing, for what, which page, etc. Nice. Nice little tool, cannibalizations. So this is a, a feature on DinoRank that 
I guess would be the most unique in the way it's presented, uh, especially for newcomers to SEO. You can check out which pages are kind of competing for a keyword and DinoRank displays it very easily. So these pages right now, these two pages are competing for anxiety counseling in Northport. And they sh chose their positions. This one's 18, this one's 61.6. So what we want to do is we want to make a priority of which one, which URL do we want to focus for this long tail keyword. And that should, if we cut the other one loose, higher one should jump up, you know, maybe from page two to page one uh, could, could work. And right here, you just click on C tips and then it'll show you what to do. You want to maybe enter the keyword in there, enter add keyword to the H1 of this page. Uh, I'm probably not going to do that, but I will include a link on Long Island Therapist that points to the East, East North Port. And also I'm going to really examine these two pages, you know, maybe, maybe in the meta description, there's something there or, uh, you know, schema, or some other things. But as you can tell, this 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 page, this cannibalizations um, feature is very nice and it, it'll help you work quicker to solve the problems, just like the internal uh, linking visuals will as well. Sometimes you see things visually and you're like, hey, I got to fix that fast. Uh, and just like this, it's listed, it's nice. And after you fix it, you can synchronize again, but again, it will use a limit. So the synchronization is not automatic. I've asked support about this and they said they keep it in kind of as a fail safe because they get too many requests, um, but they're working on trying to find a solution to fix this. Visibility competence. All right. So here we can enter in the website and see how well you're showing up or URL, how well you're showing up on Google. Even better, you can enter the competitions URL here and check out their entire domain or a certain page. And then you can analyze it and see what, if anything, they're showing up for. So this site, another site is showing up for all these things. Um, position, eh, nothing special, you know, it's, 20 and below but still you get an idea of what other people are doing writing about uh, this site actually haven't worked on in a while so that's why it's not doing anything it shows the search volumes everything's pretty low uh, position but you get the idea if you if you put a competitor in here and you want to see uh, what they are ranking for already you can reverse engineer or and type an article about that knock them out and take over their spot or be right below it. Thin content detection. So here it's going to show us if there's any thin content on the website, content that needs improvement. Now, again, this is another, you have to synchronize now. Uh, oh, if, unless you want to keep it at, this was synchronized a few days ago, so it will show anything from that time. So we don't really need to synchronize now. You just have to go into the calendar and select the dates that you want to check. So today is the end date, the beginning of the month. These are the URLs that are showing they need work. So it goes back to the visual and I like the visual. Pull down. Here we go. Here's where the links are coming from. So do follows, but I'm not sure about the thin content part that shows the internal external links. So a little question about that. Now with the Dino Rank, there is currently no external link, which is kind of a bummer because a lot of the, uh, the other tools um, show this. They'll give you backlink data. I know it's not doing backlinks. So it has this external link management feature where you would just type in links you want to monitor. I mean, that's, that's pretty cool. But if you're looking for a backlink tool, then this probably isn't for you. All right. So Dino rank, or as my buddy says, Dino rank is a nice SEO tool. It's got some nice features to it. Position tracking is daily. Limits are good. The SEO audit page is, is nice. The SEO audit feature. TFIDF and prominence is definitely an interesting feature. It kind of brings over some on-page strategy that other tools have into an all-in-one. You might like to work this way and use this. It might ease up your workflow. Keyword research it has a little bit poorer limits if you're on a lower tier or lower plan where it'll only give you like 30, 35 keyword suggestions, but higher tiers, you get much more. I think you get like 150 or something like that. The 
Internal PR and internal linking visual is really nice. I think a lot of people will find this useful, especially if you don't have a tool like Screaming Frog or some of the other tools out there. So it's nice to have these two features. Organic traffic. The only downside again on all of this is synchronizing that you have to synchronize if you want content up to date. So keep that in mind. Cannibalizations, I'm a big fan of this one, especially for the newbies to SEO. It will make your life easier to find these problems quicker. The visibility, not bad because you can here you can enter in your competitors, domains, URLs, anything you see ranking on page one of Google for your keyword. Put that URL in here and see what comes up. Thin content det detection, it shows the pages, but then it links to the internal uh, linking visuals. So not really sure about that. And the external link management, mm, you know, I wish this had um, backlinks, but it doesn't. So not bad. You got a little project task manager up here. You know, support's been responsive. Logo is kind of funky. So if you like dinosaurs and SEO, this could be the perfect tool for you. Check it out. Let me know what you think. And let's chat again soon. Happy SEOing. Bye-bye.